They're going to try and lift it up over to that far right-hand side. It's a busy box. In it comes from Greg Ollie, and it's one at the back post. But to no avail. But we may have a little bit of an accident that's occurred here, ladies and gentlemen. The man who won the resulting free kicks header. That didn't look like a soft one for him, I should say. The option for Booty is high and into the 18-yard box. It comes off Mitchell last, and he volleys high and clear away from Fylde's box. Horton might win this here, and it's a really good battle, and it's 1v1. He goes from range, Nick Horton! Can you believe it? What an effort! Ollie switched over to this left-hand side for a dom. It's 1v1 v Barrett. Can he take him on the right-hand side? He can. He'll look to open up for the shot here, and he got it all wrong. Kane Adam. Max Conway just setting up to take this corner. It will be an in-swinger, and the six-yard box is incredibly busy with nobody between the edge of the six-yard and the 18. Everybody around and surrounding Eddie Beach. In comes the corner kick from Conway. Beach punches, and it's knocked away in the end by the captain, Greg Ollie. Now... Barrett who takes on Evans continually driving forward Ormrod might fall for long it's a shot away from Connor Barrett which needed saving a really fantastic strong hand there from Eddie Beach down to his right hand side he got down so fast a clever short pass to Conway down in front of us he'll be pressed eventually but Conway's got the space to drive forward down this left hand side it's still Conway and he's an option of Ustabashi he's pressed by Hanand who's doing some defensive work Conway, Ustabashi, now away from Oli, it's still Ustabashi, looks to open up and it bursts past the post. Now Tinkler has it back. Well, that's a poor ball, he's giving it right to Danny Ormron here and this is an opportunity for the Coasters if they play this right. Horton is to his right, Nick Horton onto his left foot, he gets the shot away. Did it come off an arm there? Not quite sure but he certainly took the block. Key to remind you that the Coast has got two goals after 90 minutes in that four-goal win. In comes the ball from Conway. It's towards the 18. It might fall here, and it does hit him. And the Coast has had the opener for Ethan Mitchell, who kept his eye on that one at the back post. Nobody in Gateshead Colors wanted to clear that ball away from the six-yard box, and Ethan Mitchell... One back in midfield there by Fylde. The second ball's going to come to Tinkler. We'll send it high over the top. This should be Theo's, but Sam Graham taking charge, getting rid. Might fall here on the counter-attack. Is a good chance, and here's Danny Ormerod bursting towards the 18. Tinkler's got a lot to do to put him off this one. Here's Danny Ormerod continuing to drive, and at the back post, it's a second goal for AFC Fylde and Jonathan Ustabashi to secure the three points at Mill Farm, folks. It's not been Fylde's day for about 80 minutes, but they've burst into life here. I think I'll have to go for Danny Ormrod against Rochdale. Yeah, oh, it's a good chance for Gateshead. It's going to fall here, and it's done in the box, and that is putting your body on the line. Indeed. In comes the corner. Free header, whipped wide. That's that. 